human mind is amazing, to say the least. Its intricate network allows us to solve complex issues, recall large quantities of memories and details, and has maintained the human race at the top of the food chain for thousands of years. Entire vocations, many of them, are dedicated to the study of the brain and how it grows, develops, processes information, and allows us to interact with others. Despite the phenomenal capabilities of the human brain, however, it also allows for us to do phenomenally stupid things as well. Like allowing us to think we're the exception to the rule, that I won't get caught. No one is exempt. Regular employees, professional athletes, politicians, and psychologists alike have fallen into the trap. Allow me to give you an example. My usual hangout between classes is about 20 feet away from the building's vending machines. We can discuss the issue of self-control another day. One morning, I noticed a small post-it note on the vending machine glass. This machine ate my money, 75 cents. The busyness of the day ensued, and the next time I got back to my homework spot, there were a remarkable two more sticky notes on the glass. The notes were getting bigger and a bit more irritated. It ate mine too, one dollar. You owe me 50 cents. As I was chuckling about how dense one must be to insert coins into a machine you know has failed to yield returns, a guy from the corner office, a normally intelligent individual, walked up to the machine and began kerplunking his coins into the slot. My jaw hit the table. Nelson, I sputtered through an irrepressible smirk. Do you know how to read? He gave the machine a good body slam, punched the buttons a few more times, then grinned and asked if I had any sticky notes so he could add his lost pocket change to the list. Hey guys, I don't mean to interrupt. Can I borrow a sticky note so I can put a note on the vending machine? Just yeah, no problem. Thank you. <sighs> he walked back to his office muttering something about calling the vending machine company. I grabbed a full sheet of paper out of my bag and in pen and highlighter wrote, this machine is broken. Yes, it will eat your money too. And promptly taped it in front of the coin slot. A few of us that happened to be around enjoyed the amusement of watching people stand in front of the machine, jingling the coins really? in their pockets as if they were hot, Every reading time. and rereading the notes with glazed over eyes, then quickly turn and march away as those scents had just hit them upside the head. But just as no good fireworks show is complete without the grand finale, so goes this chronicle. Enter the psychology major. I knew she was a psych major because she had dated my roommate's brother. She confidently strolled up to the machine, made her choice, inserted her dollar bill, pressed the corresponding buttons, and nothing happened! Of all the people to know better, I thought it would be someone trained in dealing with irrational behavior. All of us around the table broke into full out laughter as we caught sight of her perplexed look. At which point she must have recognized the idiocy of the situation. I just thought the coin slot was broken. I didn't think it was going to eat my dollar bill. Of course, she added her note to the machine right above the dollar slot. The story ends happily enough since everyone got their money back, though I'm sure the machine repairmen must have thought we were all idiots. And in truth, I would have to agree. Maybe we do need to have that discussion on self-control after all.